Hello, it's Kayla with Simply Lucid. Welcome back to my channel. I am currently in winter wonderland, very much hibernation mode, but I wanted to hop on here and make this video because the holidays are coming up, whether you celebrate Christmas or like whatever you celebrate, gathering season is upon us. So I wanted to make this video to talk specifically to people who come from a history of trauma, generational trauma in their family and who've done a lot of work to develop the skills they might have not been raised with, such as healthy self-esteem and boundaries, healthy coping mechanisms for mental and emotional distress. So this video goes out to all the beings trying to heal beyond where their families are at and who might be feeling stressed out about going and spending time around basically people who might trigger you during the holiday season. I make this video because once upon a time in my life, not that long ago, I moved away from my family unit, was able to see things from a different perspective, process lots of things, and despite my overwhelming love I had for my family, when it came time to go back and visit for whatever reason, I would have panic attacks, literally. I would have so much cognitive dissonance, both wanting to be around my family, and at the same time having an aversion and a fear uh, of being around my family given how vulnerable I felt in my healing process. So I just wanted to mm, share these tips, talk to younger me, basically tell myself what I wish I would have heard when I was at the peak of my anxiety. And when I was at the peak of my anxiety and panic with coping with quote unquote, a dysfunctional family. I say quote unquote because for a long time I had the perspective that my family was really messed up, like really, really, really messed up. Um, history of things that were kind of dark and at the same time through looking at those very dark things I've been able to find more compassion, light, self-awareness than I would have if I didn't have those darker things piquing my curiosity from a really young age. I also, in growing up, have realized that dysfunction is kind of the norm, molestation kind of the norm, sexual assault kind of the norm. If you look at the numbers on these things, more often than not, it is happening to people and it's kind of surprising that it's not happening more. You know what I mean, not to be morbid, but basically I grew up and I realized that my family was no different than the majority of lots of other families. In fact, I got to have such a gratitude, such gratitude for my family because I was like, ah, things could be way more messed up. I am glad that I have the family I was born into. So that's a little bit of my backstory. Uh, basically, I was inspired by my family, for better or worse, to go study psychology at Ohio State many moons ago. So through my academic study and my personal experience with coping with stress and anxiety, I wanted to hop on here and just say what's on my heart and mind. Thank you for being open. If you vibe with this channel, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment so that we can master the algorithm and more people can get hip to my vids. So firstly, don't take everything so personally. One of the four agreements, don't take everything so personally. See your family as a see your family beyond their relationship to you for example see your mother as more than your mother see her as a daughter a student a teacher a lover a sister a friend try to see your family or your family members as human people with all the dynamics and complexities that come with that. And when you start to shift your perspective, it's almost like the Nietzsche, God is dead type of thing. I remember, you know, seeing certain members of my family as like perfect idols, idolizing them. And then the reality of like, oh, there are people too. It was really hard. And it was literally grief work that I had to do to get a healthy individuation and separation from 
a basically an enmeshed sense of identity with my family unit. So I'm kind of talking psychobabble, but I hope you're picking up on these terms that I'm using. Maybe I'll put some descriptions in the link below because I found that getting the words to just merely express what's going on in my own journey has been so extremely healing, which is cool. So yeah, just do your best to see your family as complex, flawed, flawed, flawed people doing the best they can. E even if you don't really believe that, I feel like that perspective will make you feel lighter. It's almost like a fake it till you make it. And I feel like you chose to incarnate into your family to be the very healing that you're seeing needs to be done in your family. So in that, walk the path of compassion, forgiveness, non-attachment, and understand that everyone is on their own journey and here to learn their different lessons. So yeah, see your family as individual people. <laughs> Here's another one that, I th that I've uh, kind of practiced and I think is really cool. Before you're even at the family gathering, try to make it as intentional as possible. Get everyone on the same page to the best of your ability as to what's happening when, who, what, where, when, why. If your family is still eating um, a rather unhealthy diet, instead of taking the approach of like shaming them or making them feel like what they're eating or doing is wrong, quick tangent, if you're ever trying to change or help anyone, making them think what they're doing is wrong is going to have them put their guard up right off the bat and they're probably not going to listen to you. So if you want to eat healthier food than what your family is eating, step up and bring that salad, bring that meat, feed, meat free dish to the function and let it speak for itself. Have it be dank and delicious and there's no arguing with it. Don't have it be like a, oh, I do this, you do this. Just be like, this can be achieved by everyone. Anything I'm doing, you can do as well. I forget how I started off that point. Oh yeah, you just be as prepared as possible for the function by um, prep, like setting yourself up to get all of your needs met, all these needs that you feel might not have been met when you were in that family unit, it's like you've grown up and you are that person to meet those needs. So whether that's taking time out of the experience to go meditate or ground yourself or bringing healthier food to the occasion so that you can have something to eat so that you stay in alignment with what you know to be true and best for you, uh, then do that. Also, for example, say your family watches a lot of TV or takes in a lot of programming, just takes in whatever kind of stimuli that you uh, have grown to take in less of over time. What was my point with that? Okay, so say that your family is doing something that you don't really want to do with your life. Feel free to just observe them and what they're doing and not absorb it. Like hold loving space for whatever they are doing exactly in that moment. And that goes for you too. Whatever you're doing in any moment throughout space and time, assume and know that you as a spiritual being chose to do that thing in that moment. And if you don't want to do it anymore, don't do it. You are so free. You can literally do whatever you want, do what thou will, but cultivate discernment and intelligence and wisdom so that you're not out here acting a fool. Just because you can do whatever you want doesn't mean you should do X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? So like that's the game that we're playing. So we have don't take everything personally. See your family as like flawed human beings that you came to uh, not overtly help, but model. Um, like you are your ancestors' wildest dreams. Like you came here to become everything they wish they could have been. There's all of that. There's preparing for the function as best as you can, mind, body, spirit. Anything else on my heart and mind for coping with like a dysfunctional family? Ultimately, if it's that hard for you, understand that this life is yours and if you need to not be in physical space, if you need some time to cut off phone calls, you know, these are these boundaries. This is cord cutting. You might you might get to a point where you want nothing to do with your family. I have lived through that. I have like completely cut people off, gone to be out in the woods for weeks. You know what I mean? Like 
give yourself permission to become a completely separate person than how your family unit might have originally programmed you to be but at the end of the day I hope you can find the forgiveness and the compassion in your heart to then return to that family unit with all of the light and awareness that you have um received from doing your walkabout so i like to use the analogy of the lion king like simba is born into just royalty that comes with power but also responsibility hashtag spider-man anyway he gets severely traumatized simba gets severely traumatized by his uncle no less classic creepy uncle narrative again a lot more common than you might think if you've been molested feel free to not feel ashamed about it it's really common that's for another video anyway simba goes gets traumatized and he goes out into the woods basically he goes to random like open space ready to die he meets his soul guides his comrades his allies in timon and pumbaa you know what i mean but at the end of the day there's a time for simba to return alchemized completely changed ready to resume his rightful throne you know and i just want you to see your soul or your divine self like that like you're born into this earthly realm you're inevitably going to get traumatized your soul is going to go through transformation due to that and you're going to come out on the other side royal and enlightened basically and ready to really set yourself up to succeed whether that be um in a position of starting your own family whether that be in a position of starting your own family um starting a business whatever that may be but like don't don't be so afraid to return to some place or something or someone that has severely traumatized you because it could be for your growth that being said, I by no means am telling you to stay in an abusive relationship or anything like that. If it's really hard for you to discern what is safe for you or not, I highly recommend talking to a professional about it or just talking to someone that you really, really trust. Uh, but yeah, this video is to inspire hope for people who might be um, estranged from their families or feeling um, not sure how they might stay true to the self that they're growing into around families who might be on a completely different wavelength, maybe on a lower frequency, maybe not. But yeah, I know I have been kind of through hell and back with my family throughout space and time, but damn it, I am committed to loving them first by loving myself it has been so hard but if I can be a mirror for anyone on this journey which I am and you are for me as well then <laughs> that's why we're here walking each other home I am in the winter woods of Ohio about to leave the country basically go to the tropics so i'm getting my winter hibernation in as much as i can i'm so excited to see my family for the holidays my intention is to cook them amazing food to hold space and like really listen as they're talking about their lives to observe not absorb to best model how i want to be for not only myself but for others uh yeah, I think that's all for now. Again, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. This channel is a space to really explore consciousness, to explore uh, balancing and integrating mind, body, and spirit, and basically documenting my soul's journey on Earth and hoping it can help other people. All right, until next time, stay lucid. Peace.